You know, it's just occurred to me we really haven't had a completely successful test of this equipment. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is NC Bohunk 42, and this is a Ghostbusters Plasma Series Race Stance 112 action figure from Hasbro. So Race Stance comes with the Plasma Series packaging, as well as the Proton Pack and Neutrino Wand, the Ecto Goggles, a leg for the Terra Dog, which is their Build-A-Figure. They're calling it a Build-A-Ghost for this line. You have some Art Deco on the side. You have the other figures in the line, the completed Build-A-Ghost, and a small write-up for Ray, as well as the artwork on the other side. These figures are retailing for around $19.99, although some vendors are selling them as much as $22.99. But this particular figure was purchased at Target.com for $19.99. So taking a closer look at Ray and all of his accessories, we'll look at the Ecto Goggles first. Uh, very iconic for the character. I'm sure everybody remembers um, him wearing these in the in the first Ghostbusters movie when they um, had an encounter with Slimer at the Sedgwick. Uh, they use just a little silver right here on the the binocular part. Uh, the rest of it, it just is cast in this um, kind of olive drab green. Uh, but no, they just kind of skimped on the on the detail. I wish that they would have just maybe used a little black. Um, maybe some weathering. Uh, I also have the Diamond Select version, which to me is a is just a better version. Um, it's pretty crazy because the Diamond Select version that I have was a twelve dollar figure. It came with way more accessories. That the paint apps seem to be um, a little bit cleaner, a little bit more. Um, here you have the Proton Pack and Neutrino One, which uh, is a good scale. I like that they included the. Uh, you got the Alice frame here. Um, and then they've, they've done some paint apps on the inside here to get the wiring. Uh, I guess the one red light on the cyclotron, uh, they only did the one maybe to, um, show that like it's in sequence and it's going around like it's supposed to. The, uh, the ribbon is not painted and I hate that because they, they did, they, they managed to do the, the, just the red and the blue and they didn't do, uh, that, that ribbon there. The neutrino one ports in on the bottom side, right there at that point. And it actually clicks in and makes a very solid connection, which is good because some other figures from other lines, it always wanted to pop off because the, the wire that holds it on, um, it's hard to manipulate it. Uh, but yeah, so the Neutrino one, uh, very good. Again, very skimpy on some paint apps. So moving forward, hopefully uh, that's something that they correct. I'd like a little bit more paint apps on this thing. Um, to compare it, I also have the Diamond Select version here. As you can see, they they uh, they even have stickers on it. So yeah, they they I don't know. I, I like that they added more to this to this Diamond Select one. I just feel like this would be the superior one if they just put a little more effort into it. And then uh, this is the Plasma Series one compared to the Mattel version that came out uh, with the re-release of the figures in 16 and again they Mattel even added little nuances to it that this one does not have the terror dog figure so you get the the arm for to to make the build a ghost so once i get all of them open i'll uh, i'll do a review when that thing's put together and the ray figure it's it's very good i like the likeness they use the photo real tech which is awesome i'm it, yeah i buy that as dan Aykroyd. that's pretty good um it, it definitely looks like him in some angles more than others, like straight on. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I buy that. That's that's Dan Aykroyd. Like from the side, it doesn't look like him, but other angles, uh, I, I do see it. Um, I don't like that they put this glossy finish on the figure. Um, this should be a flat... Uh, paint that's used on on the on the uniform here. Um, I also don't like this fluorescent yellow tubing. Um, I don't remember it being that yellow in the movie. And on the Mattel version here, you can see they used a clear one. I think that that was a better touch. Uh, and then again, the my gripe with Hasbro is anytime they give us um, pieces that go on a figure that are cast or molded inside like give us the radio man like that, that's a that's a accessory that they have we would like to be able to use that radio um that'd be a nice piece to have 
especially when y they're going to keep releasing these figures, right? And give us just a slight variation. There's a little bit of goo here. There's, you know, some slime, whatever. Well, to me, that's not a repaint is very hard to, 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 to convince me to buy unless you can get something with it that I couldn't get before. So hopefully they come back and see that like the Ghostbusters have a ton of equipment and you could release that equipment with a repaint and it would sway a buyer to buy it a little more. So for his articulation, he's got uh, 360 head. He's got the dumbbell joint in the neck. So his head can go down that much, can go up and he's got the tilt. He's got a, he actually has a butterfly in his shoulder, which is nice because we can't get that in a lot of legends. Um, he's got a ball jointed shoulder. He's got the double elbow, very tight. He's got the wrist. He can twist at the waist. Doesn't have too much of a crunch. He can, he can sit down, but his legs do not go together too well. He, it's his sitting stance there. Um, you can go back that much. He's got the thigh cut. He's got double knees. And he's got the ankle pivot. So for comparison, here is the Ray Stance Plasma Series next to the Mattel Ray Stance and the Diamond Select Ray. The Plasma Series one is actually the shortest of all of the releases. And he is right under six inches, right about five and seven eighths. So does this deserve your money? Uh, in my opinion, yes, it does. This is a great figure, well worth the $19.99 price point. Um, you're getting uh, a great likeness, uh, movie accurate uh, race stands. And uh, I think that's, that's really what everybody's after. I am a huge Ghostbuster fan. I have multiple lines from different, uh, from, from different uh, toy makers and before this figure came out, I was a huge Diamond Select fan. I thought they pretty much nailed it. I think that Hasbro has uh, dethroned them. So to me, it is a definite buy. Now, I'm pretty critical too. And so some things that I would like to see in the future that I think most of the fans can agree on uh, are the accessories for the Ghostbusters. For the price point that we're paying around $19.99 to $23, um, to only get the Proton Pack and the Trina One, I think is a little bit of a cop-out because that is a part of all of their characters. I mean, that's what they come with. That To me, that's like uh, releasing a Batman or a Superman figure without their cape. Like, the, this, these are going to come with them. So it shouldn't even be an accessory. It should just be part of, part of the, the deal. And then when you get accessories, we could use more hands. We could use more equipment. I mean, that's the, that's the cool thing about the Ghostbusters is they had a ton of equipment. Um, so give us more and then for God's sakes, give us the proton streams. There should be no reason why it's exclusive to the Winston Zedmore figure. Um, because every collector of, and Ghostbuster fan in general, they're going to want the streams. Um, I mean, just think how cool that would be to have all four of your, uh, Ghostbusters figures crossing the streams and, uh, recreating that iconic, uh, cl climactic moment at the end. All right, guys, that's the review. As always, please like, dislike, comment, and subscribe. I uh, hope this was informative and it helps you make a better decision when adding to your collection. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned for more content. Keep collecting.